In the water profession, where providers treat and deliver water, regulatory compliance is required. Over time, these requirements have become more stringent, necessitating careful monitoring and control of the water within the distribution system. Water providers have historically sized pipelines and storage facilities to ensure a reliable water supply, including planning for growth and emergencies such as firefighting. The result can be long detention times, loss of chlorine residual, taste and odor problems, and other water quality changes. Within the delivery system, water quality can change over distance and time. There are various ways in which water quality can degrade. Materials installed within the distribution system can leach contaminants, allow the permeation of contaminants and encourage the growth of microorganisms. Pipe materials such as lead, copper and galvanized iron may leach metals into drinking water. Some plastics and internal components can leach unwanted organic substances into the water. Pipe joint lubricants and gaskets may encourage the growth of microorganisms and improperly cured linings can cause odor problems. An additional concern is the possibility that petroleum contaminants in soil may permeate some plastic pipes and enter the water supply. Unlined iron pipe corrodes, causing iron release, which can lead to red or rusty colored water that consumers find objectionable. New water main installations can affect water quality and create taste and odor problems if dirt, coliform, or other bacteria get inside during construction or if the main is not properly cleaned or disinfected. The distribution system represents 60 to 70 percent of a water utility's capital investment and the system, like the treatment plants, must be maintained in good operating order. A quantity and quality balance must be struck between a community's water supply needs and its quality expectations.